We've just collected some data and the data stored on the calculator. Quite often the next step is to get the data into a computer. The easiest way to get the data into the computer is to transfer the data to our Logger Pro software. I'm on the main screen of the calculator. Let's choose quit. When we choose quit, a screen comes up. It tells us where the data is stored. It's important to note where that data is stored. Choose OK. And we've now left the, the application. So I'll take the cable that comes with the graphing calculator. It has a, a mini USB on one end, a standard USB on the other end. Plug the mini USB into the calculator. Plug the standard USB into the computer. Now they're connected. Now what I'll do is I'll start the Logger Pro software and we'll see how to get the data in there. To import it, we will click the button that has a calculator on it. Hover the mouse over it. Notice that the little pop-up says that import from TI device. Click that button. A screen appears that uh, shows us which calculator is attached and it shows us what data is stored in the calculator. When we left Easy Data, we saw that the data was stored in list one, it was stored in list six, list seven, and list eight. So all I've done is highlighted those lists. I choose OK, and the data is imported into the computer. The data comes in with uh, names that it had in the calculator. The first list, list one, is actually time. In the data table, I'll double click on L1. It'll bring up a dialog box. I will change uh, the name from L1 to time. I'll change the short name in, uh, to T, and the units were seconds. I'll just put S, and then I choose done. After I've completed that operation, the data table shows the column heading is now time in seconds. And notice at the, the bottom of the graph, the, uh, the x-axis label is time. Double click on L6. It brings up that same dialog box. I'll type in distance. Short name, we'll just put D. The units were meters. Go ahead and click done. As soon as I do that, the data table and the plot are both updated with the, the correct names. Within Logger Pro, I have access to many analysis features. Here's just a simple one, the examine feature. Click the examine button, move the mouse across the plot. The data table reflects my, my data points. I can see the data points on my, my graph. I have access to other things that you're used to. For example, I can print directly. So if I want to go ahead and print the graph, I can. If I want to print the data table, I can. And now we've seen how we can get the data into the computer. We've seen how we have access to the, all, all the features of Logger Pro. Please remember that Logger Pro comes with a site license. This allows you to install the software on all the computers in your school. The students can install it on their computers at home. You, all the teachers can install it on their computers at home. So as a matter of fact, then the students can take the data from the classroom, put it on a thumb drive or uh, email it, and send it to their home computer for additional analysis or preparing um, uh, the lab reports.